Apparently, he was on Tucker Carlson's show, and he calling out Oprah and The View for blacklisting him. So I have not seen any of this stuff. I try to try to hold off before I start having conversations about it. All right, let's get it from there. Y'all ready? So why would you be doing this of all interviews? I mean, you could do an interview with anyone. You're doing an interview with me. Obviously, you're, you're going to take abuse for doing that. Like, why would you do that? Um, because I think it's silly not to talk to people. Um, I think whether we agree or not, right? that has nothing to do with it. You know, it's like, this is what it's all about. Let's, let's talk about it. Let's, let's debate. And, and, you know, I've been shut Wait, out. That sounds like right-wing extremism and <laughs> what about ism? What, what, but I've been shut out. You know, some, some platforms will not have me on. Why? Um, they don't like that I'm, you know, an independent thinker. I'm not part of the herd. I'm not part of uh, the go along to get along gang, so to speak. So, um, you know, I'm an outsider. And so, you know, I'm not part of the club. So I feel you, Q. Neither am I, big dog. Neither am I. A lot of us are not a part of the club and we outsiders. He he literally speaking at sentiments of Yo, low key, I think that Ice Cube is a um I think that Ice Cube is a conservative. I don't think he's a Democrat. I don't think that he would ever say that he's a he's a conservative because everything that he's saying is a conservative view. I think that Ice Cube is a conservative. The fact that he's he even talking to Tucker Carlson. See, Cube could have chose anybody to do this had this conversation with, but he chose Tucker Carlson. Now, of course, we know that Tucker Carlson is one of the biggest in the world. However, that's irrelevant. He could have chose to go and talk to Don Lemon. He could have chose to go and talk to uh, anybody. He could have went on Joe Button's show. He could have picked anybody's show that he wanted to go on. But Cube specifically decided to go on Tucker Carlson. I am almost 100% sure because we know that Cube would never say that to the black community because the black community already be having bad a bad taste in their mouth because you're not a part of the go along, get along gang. But I think that cube is 100% conservative in my core. And he said, I'm not a part of the go along, get along gang. And so as a result, you know, they decided not to get along. He not, he, he not on code. It's the same thing that I say all the time. When you're not on code, you got to kind of do things yourself and you step step outside of whatever it is that, that, that they deem is your cultural norm. So I have to I have to go places for, for one that I'm welcome yeah. and where I can voice my opinion without somebody, um, you know, saying I'm a bad person and that they never want to have me on their platform again. What what platforms have have banned you? I've been I've been. Um, you know, I tried to go on. I tried to go on the View. They didn't have me on the View. Why? Um, well, a few of the guests just really didn't like where I was coming from. So, uh, or a few of the hosts. I mean, so that's what I was told by the producers. You know, I don't know if the producers was just copping out and using some of the hosts to to not have me come on and explain myself. But you'd be a good booking for them. I've been on there before. Yeah. You know, it's just when I've became an independent thinker, when I've, you know, I'm not. AKA conservative. You know, I don't, I don't follow their, uh, their brand of politics, I guess. I told you he not going to come out and just say it, which I wish he would just come out and just say it. I wish he would just come out and say it, but he's basically saying I'm an independent thinker and I'm not basically following a brand of politics, which he's justified for doing so. If that's what he listen, you justify for thinking however you want to think. That's the whole idea of being an American. Being an American means that you are an independent thinker. Right. Also, on top of that. What these dumb older shows like The View that I think is falling out of favor with the general public and the viewership is continuing to torpedo. Yet you see 
streams and different shows that have differences of opinions, those are the things that are starting to take off. They missing the mark. And so my, my thing is I don't want to work with nobody that I don't care for, like that I don't think that got good character or, you know, that I think is grimy or dirty. And when I say grimy or dirty, I'm talking I'm not talking about your politics. I'm not talking about how you look at things individually. I'm talking about like the type of person where you know what I'm saying, they would come at my family or something like that. Just on some personal type stuff. But outside of that, you know what I'm saying, I'll pretty much all almost talk to anybody that got a different of opinion or even that see things the same way as me. I don't really care because I think that that's, you know, having having conversations outside of yourself is the thing that actually makes for that causes growth. When you see things that's outside of your cultural norm, that's where growth comes from. I'm not looking to be in an echo chamber. Apparently, he's saying the same thing. But if you can't think for yourself, then you're not really free, are you? No, you're not. You're not. But I've been excluded. I've been excluded. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, I'm I'm gonna play this again. Um, Nobo Amhotep says conservatives aren't conservatives aren't independent thinkers. Don't put them in a box. Yes, they are. Specifically, black conservatives, because black conservatives have to go outside of what it is that they're being programmed to think in order to really think what they're thinking. That's what makes it independent. See, it's not the stance that you take. It doesn't matter if you're liberal or conservative or independent itself. The stance that you take that's opposite. Or the fact that you do your own research or the fact that you may be having a conversation based off of what's best for you instead of what you're being programmed to think, whether it be from your parents or the black community or people continuing to come at you and saying that you need to be on code. That's what makes you independent. It's not what you're independent about. It's the fact that you do your own independent research and you refuse to be on code. Now, we may have a similar opinion, but we may have a difference of opinion. But the fact that I am an independent thinker. And usually a black person that is conservative, specifically black men, tend to be independent thinkers that go against the grain or what we call going against the grain and decide not to be liberal just because that's what they program us to think. And so it does make him an independent thinker to consider the fact that his background and everybody from his background is expecting for him to be one way, but he's deciding to be the other way. And he's willing to have conversations with people that may not that may or may not see things the same way in order for him to make a more informed decision. So it does make him an independent thinker. See, y'all, you are thinking in a box because you automatically programming and thinking that all conservatives are one way because we all may have a specific talking point. But the context by which we think that way makes us an independent thinker because I don't go with it just because you say I should go with it or just because I'm black or just because of the sisterhood or just because of my parents or whoever it is. I think the way that I think because it's meaningful for me. And usually when you see a black person that's conservative, they had to get outside of their cultural norms in order to research it and think for think for themselves. So it does make him an independent thinker. You're not an independent thinker by thinking that he's not an independent thinker just because he's conservative. You the one that put yourself in a box. You're not. But I've been excluded. I've been excluded on Oprah, you know. I, I, on Oprah? On Oprah, <laughs> yeah. I've been excluded. Yeah, man. Um, I would think you'd be the person Oprah would want to promote. I mean, you grew up in South Central. You were successful at a young age. You have dignity. You say what you think. Like. I thought that was the goal. Me too. You know, I don't know what it is, but, you know, several of my, you know, I had a movie called Barbershop, you know. Yeah, um, I remember. That that I wasn't invited to participate with the cast. I uh, produced a show called uh, Black White. Uh, if you feel like I'm wrong, the link is pinned to the top of the chat. See, this is the show where you can actually express your thoughts. If you feel like I'm wrong, the link is pinned to the top of the chat for you to be able to call in, and I'm willing to have a conversation with you. Please help me to understand why I'm wrong. And it was it was a very controversial show. And um, once again, they had the whole cast on, but I wasn't invited. And so I don't know. I don't Oprah, know what that's, on Oprah's yeah, show. Yeah, so I don't know what that's really But about. Oprah is obviously a saintly, godlike figure who's revered by all decent people. Why would she exclude you? I really don't know. 
You know, that's that's something that I would love to find out. But I, I don't I can't tell you, you know, if there's a single thing that I've done or said to her. Have you noticed that it is more controversial to criticize? Has, has Ice Cube ever publicly talked about or criticized Oprah? Because I can see the lunch ladies um, over there on The View. You know, that's, that's just a bunch of lunch ladies. I, I consider The View the the same as I consider Vivica Fox, Lisa Ray, and all of them on uh, the Fox Soul Show. Those are just the lunch ladies. You know what I'm saying? I, I look at them as femi feminazis. They just feminists that's on that show spewing a bunch of nonsense to a bunch of over the hill women. Um, that ain't got no man, so I ain't tripping off none of that. But it, has Ice Cube ever publicly said anything to or about Oprah specifically? Oprah, I, I ain't even gonna lie. Oprah is a is is straight up a G in my opinion because Oprah don't sit here. You know, the one thing that you can say about Oprah is, despite the fact that a lot of people may say a lot of stuff about her, she don't respond to that shit. Like she genuinely gonna she gonna do whatever she gonna do. And she don't go back and forth about it. Oprah is more masculine and Oprah is more steadfast on whatever the fuck she feel than most dudes. Most people get angry. They get mad. They trying to go back and forth with you. They going to fight and all of that. Oprah just keep it G. The only thing that Oprah responds to is if somebody is trying to fuck up the money. And she'd be like, oh, no, what the hell is going on? Oh, I don't know what's happening or whatever. Oprah is about her bag. She don't give a fuck about what you think, bro. And regardless of what your, what your stance is or your position or what she produced or what her shows was, Oprah bought a motherfucking bag and she put her people on and she focused on getting that money. She ain't, she ain't going to go back and forth. She's not going to respond to the media. She ain't going to tweet about you. Oprah just going to say whatever. She's going to do whatever the fuck she's going to do and she's going to keep it G. Straight up. Straight up. Oprah don't give a fuck about what you're talking about. She not ever going to respond to you, nigga. We just not going to get no money. You might not ever know why she don't fuck with you. Just know that she don't fuck with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to just keep it 100. Over, over stand on business. She not going to go back and forth with you. I don't ever, I don't ever believe that Oprah is ever going to fuck with Monique. See, you know how Monique be going on these platforms and she be like, Kevin Hart called me. And was like, oh, let me help you out. Next thing you know, she talking negative about Kevin Hart. And she'd be like, yeah, and Tyler Perry reached out to me. And he was saying this and that and this and that. And the next thing you know, Tyler Perry get burned. And so Tyler Perry ain't fucking with her no more. You don't hear no shit from Oprah. Oprah don't respond. She don't talk. She don't. She ain't about to get and get, have a conversation with you. Only person that Oprah talked to that we know of for sure is Gail. And Gail ain't telling you what Oprah says. Oprah just be quiet. She ain't saying nothing, nothing, not a thing to you. If she don't mess with you, I want to be more like Oprah. Flat out. I think that I need to be a lot more mature, just like Oprah. I need to be more like Oprah because I need to be above that shit. Complaints go up, not down. Let them motherfuckers complain up. Just keep it moving. Size Oprah than to burn the American flag. Really? Seems that way. <laughs> I've never heard anybody criticize Oprah. Do you think it's political or do you think it's deeper than that? I, don't, I mean, you're not like a right winger. No. No? No. You don't even seem that political. No, I'm not really. I'm pretty much, you know, um, just want to do right by the people, you know. So if that comes through political means, that comes through the private sector, wherever it comes, you know, uh, I'm down to work with whoever's down to do something right for the people. So I remember reading you say something along the lines of, I didn't vote for Trump, I'm not a Trump voter. You actually attacked Trump at one point, but you were willing to meet with Trump. Do you think that crossed the line? I think some people didn't like that, um, but I think it's idiotic. You know, enemies meet. <laughs> right. You know, they, they talk, I'm pretty sure, there's some communication between Russia and the Ukraine right now. Somebody's on the phone talking to somebody. That's true. That is absolutely true. And so just because we don't necessarily um, agree with each other doesn't mean that we don't have something that we need to go negotiate and have similar interests. The part where Ice Cube is missing, in my opinion, in my respectfully humble opinion, is that 
in order for enemies to even negotiate and meet, though, you got to have something that I want. The only reason that Trump, in my opinion, even though Ice Cube don't necessarily care for Trump, which it doesn't mean that he's not conservative, it just means that he don't necessarily care for Trump, because he never said that he actually voted for or care for Biden either, um, is that they, you got to have something that they want. So when Ice Cube proposed something and Trump was campaigning and then he said, listen, I'll meet with y'all. We over at the Republican, as a Republican nomination, we'll meet with the black community or meet with your platinum plan to see what it is that we can get done. It was because they had a similar interest. I want something from you. You want something from me. And so we can sit down and have a conversation. That don't mean that we got to like each other. That just means that we both can get something out of this. And so let's see if we can have a conversation. But I don't think that Oprah see any value in Ice Cube. And that's one of the reasons why she like, nigga, why would I meet with you? Some people just eat. You know, some people just on some like, fuck you all, all across the board. I don't care. But enemies can only meet when we see value in what it is that you're doing. And it's a mutual interest for us to both benefit. If I can't benefit from it, you know what I'm saying? And it's a reason why Russia would meet with Ukraine or Ukraine would meet with Russia because they neither one of the motherfuckers want to continue to have casualties on both sides and they both have an interest in, you know, winning the war. But I think that where he's missing it is that why would The View meet with you and what do they get out of it? Why would why would Oprah meet with you and what does she get out of it? I think he's right. But I think that the context matters. That's what he missing. Trying to. What up, sir? Mason, I, I appreciate you. Um, to come up with a, a solution. Um, so we just got to talk. That's the only way we're going to work this out. You know, I know when the talking stops, the fighting starts. You know, a lot of people, they, you know, think I'm a you know, Republican, I'm, I'm a right winger. Um, just because I was willing to speak to the Trump organization, administration, I mean, and I was willing to speak with the Biden administration as well, you know. Um, Which Biden have you? One guy in the administration, but it didn't go anywhere. You know, it was basically a, you know, take my temperature kind of call. Says Zebra says he went to Trump because Biden wouldn't meet with him. That's not true. It's not true. Y'all just be guessing. See, y'all got to actually substantiate what y'all saying. Y'all can't just say that. Jari, shout out to Jari in the building. Says September been absent lately gathering research for my YouTube return or for my return to YouTube. My birthday is the 20th. Shout out to the kids porn on 220. Your birthday is the 20th? My daughter's birthday is the 20th. Let me give you a round of applause for that one, big dog. Yes, my birthday, my daughter's birthday is the 20th. Rita's birthday is the 19th. So my daughter's birthday is the day after my wife's birthday. That was a wild month when she was born. And it was 2008. Shout out to you, Jari. Stop being missing. Stop disappearing, bro. Have some consistency. Shout out to you. We'll get to it. Like, But, you know, they, they never got to it or never planned to. Matter of fact, the guy left the administration. So you know, after after talking to him for a year or so, he was gone. And then, you know, we were left really with no one to, to continue the conversations. What do you think? I don't think he's giving the people who put him in exactly what they thought they were going to get from him. Um, but his most loyal voters, according to the polls anyway, are black voters, particularly black women. Mm-hmm. And those numbers don't seem to change. So no matter what happens or doesn't happen. Yep. So do you expect they ever will change? Black women are always going to vote the way that they vote, regardless of who who's running on the de- on a Democratic side, regardless. So why would they ever give? That's why enemies meet. That's the thing that y'all missing. Listen. If they already know that you're going to vote one way regardless, then why would they ever meet with you? Because they already know that you're going to give them everything. If, 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 if you don't have to add any value or if I don't have to trade anything, but I can automatically guarantee that I'm going to get your vote regardless, why would I meet with you? And so that's basically why they move in the way that they move. And so they know that black women, for example, is always going to be incredibly liberal 
regardless of who's running it, so they don't have to meet with them or they don't have to ask for anything because they see the way that y'all talking on social media as a result of it. You know, whether they become independents and not vote for anybody who's not bringing it, you know, it's like people want your vote. Shout out to Leslie um, Aaron. They I have to do something that. to earn it. If they don't earn it, why are you going down there and pulling that lever? Because the other side hates you. That's the that's the pitch they make. We we may suck, but the other side hates you. Um, you supposed to dance with the person you brought. Yeah. You know? And the person that 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 brought you to the dance, you guys are supposed to dance together. And if that doesn't happen, you got to go find another dancing partner before the night is up and the music stops. What do you think of Kamala Harris? I mean, obviously she's a great politician mm -hmm. to be able to become the vice president of the country. Mm -hmm. um, and that's black woman. I don't know how effective she is at her job. She's What's your view of the police at this point? Um, it's the same, you know, they, <laughs> it really is, you know, it's, 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 it's like looking at like, What's your view of the military? Like, they're the military. They're always going to be the military. If I ask you this in 1946, you'd be like, they're the military. Yeah. So it's a fraternity. It's an organization that does things a certain way. And I think their philosophy sometimes is detrimental to the people they're serving because I think cops have a win and make it home philosophy. Win. Whatever battles you have in the street, make it home at night. And that's that's actually the most important thing. And everything else, people's rights, doing things the right way, you know, being totally fair and square all the time and not, you know, being a little aggressive, you know, um, all that comes second to win the encounter make it home at night and which ironically the majority of them do not make it home at night the majority of them get divorced the majority of them have health problems the majority of them at some point take some kind of injury the majority of them suffer majority of them is underpaid <clears throat> so hmm. you can't really fault somebody for thinking that way as a police officer but that's the philosophy, so everything else comes second to that. So, guy might not care if he violated your rights. He's going to win this encounter. He's going to make it home tonight. And that's all that matters. And sometimes I think that's what we see is a, an organization hell-bent on winning and not a, and not a fraternity or organization hell-bent hell bent on upholding the law and doing anything right or by the book, so to speak. Yep. Yeah. And it's just the nature. I'd rather have Batman um, that break the law in order to make sure that he catch the criminal than have somebody that has to operate by, with the, within the law in order to make sure that they make you happy as... <laughs> Right now, across America, we need Batman. Real talk. You need, you need, we need vigilantes almost. I'm not calling for vigilantes. I'm not calling for chaos. I'm not calling for everything operating outside of the law. But I'm saying that we need people that are stand on principle, that are stand on business of doing the right thing at this point because it's become so lawless in the United States of America that we've actually started to side with the criminals. Just because we say that you operate slightly outside of what we would consider ethical. Sure of that fraternity. Maybe of organizations. Yeah, you know, it's they, 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 they come with a philosophy and, you know, you can try to buck it if you want to, but more than likely they're gonna get you out the way and stay in formation. Yo, I think that Tucker Carlson is absolutely killing it. Um, I like the fact, I like, I actually started to watch 
I'm almost halfway through his two-hour interview of what he did with Vladimir Putin uh, over in Russia. They said that over in Moscow, he was basically worshipped like a celebrity. Let me let me pull somebody up here that may disagree with me. Joel, uh, you there? Yo, Anton, what's going on? What's up, Joel? What's the word? Can you hear me? I got my Bluetooth on. I'm driving. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, yeah. Um, I don't disagree with you, brother. Um, I'm, I watch the show regularly. Um, I, I consider myself conservative, conservative-minded. Um, I will say, however, I feel like, you know, within, you know, whether it's pop culture, whether it's, you know, um, just regular folk like us, I, I want to see more balanced views because um, too often I see when, if, if somebody picks a camp and they're conservative, they go all the way to the right, or I'm not, I'm not saying that's you, I'm just speaking in general. I agree or, with you. you know, I agree with you. They don't know how to think for I agree with you. They don't know how to think for themselves because they either because I identify a certain way, they can't be objective enough to actually say, Okay, well I could still think for myself with regard to individual issues, even though I may lean more right or I may lean more left. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. Word. Word, word. And and my brother in law, he's um he uh, graduated in uh, in political science. And um, he was the he was the first person that opened my eyes back in '08 because um, I used to be like more liberal minded, even though I was like raised, you know, pretty much conservative, as a conservative Christian. Um, but even within my conservative thought process, there are some like there's some topics I I would lean more to the liberal side, but you know I I, I lean more conservative, but I just think that. You know, no one should be married to, like, you know, one, you know, thought process. You, you know what I'm saying? I agree with you 100%. Yeah, that, that, that's all I want to say. Yo, that's that's a dope take. Thank you, my friend, for calling in. Yeah, no doubt. Absolutely. Yo, that's a, and he's absolutely right. He's 100% right. I don't believe that anybody should be married to um, any one mindset because... It removes your ability to actually think objectively, even about the very candidates that you may be having. Like, I think that there's been bad conservative presidents just as much as I think that there's been bad liberal presidents. And then I think that we've had good conservative presidents. Um, I can't say that we've had I'd have to do some research. I don't think that we've had good liberal presidents in my lifetime, but including Clinton. I don't think that we've had good liberal presidents in my lifetime, but that's just me in particular.